<laughs> Joking aside, let's get you geared up ASAP. I am so excited for this new gear. The entire gearing system has been revamped. There are account discounts. The whole game has the same system. Rate loot has value, a higher cap. It's just such a great system. But as with anything new, there is a learning curve. If you want to start gearing ASAP, this is the video for you. Basically, almost all PvE content in the game can give us great gear and the currencies that we need to upgrade that gear. Whether it's treasures, quests, rares, bosses, dungeons, and of course, mythic and raids. Pretty much just literally play the game. So here's an example. I am in the Dragon Isles and there is a world quest over here. So if we look in our currency tab, we can see some flight stones right here. And right after we finish that quest, we get a couple more. Now, the main currencies that we need for upgrading our gear are flight stones and crests. Now these crests can be acquired in pretty much the same way as the flight stones. As you're getting flight stones, you're going to be getting these crests anyway. So once we have those currencies that we need, we're going to do the exact same thing that we used to do and just take it to any item upgrading vendor and we place the item here and then we can upgrade it. Now we don't have any items at the moment at all. So let's go get that gear. Now if there's only a few things you do every week, make sure you do the Niffin weekly, your regular weeklies and the dungeon weekly here's an example of that dungeon weekly so if we accept this quest all we got to do is five heroics and we can get a brand new piece of gear so we're going to go to group finder and go to random heroic dragon flight and do five of these real quick and that niffin weekly i mentioned is here in zarlek caverns make sure you do that too more on zarlek in a second because we want that gear as fast as possible while we are doing those dungeons or any other queued content we're gonna smash out the rest of our main storyline don't worry you can start gearing before you even finish the storyline but the main storyline will walk us through all the main details that we'll want to know later as well as give us new gear materials and more of the currencies that we need all right there's one there's another one and there we go we're gonna head back to Valdraken when we're done and i'm gonna choose the new piece of gear and hell yeah there we go our first new piece of 10.1 gear now remember there are different ranks of gear champion and hero but we're not gonna dive into those just know that a piece of gear can only get so high in item level before we have to switch to a higher ranking piece of gear if you go look at all the excel sheets and stuff it can seem a little daunting at first so again we're just keeping it super simple as long as you can upgrade one piece of gear then you just keep repeating that process for mythic plus raids or whatever kind of content you're into doing if you're after the best gear possible you'll have to keep pushing higher and higher end game pve content now the general gearing path is going to look different for every everyone according to your eye level but for the most part it's gonna look something like forbidden reach to zarlek caverns to higher end game content most people will probably just go straight to zarlek caverns and just live there for a while until they can do the really high end game stuff now you're gonna want to do your story asap at some point it'll take you to zarlek caverns here now this place is awesome and you can just live here and get tons of new gear by killing rares opening up chests participating in the events oh and that niffin weekly i was talking about is here as well now we got the gear we got the flight stones but we're missing a crest that we need simply progressing through your story and participating in almost any content can get you these currencies now for some tips there is an upgrade vendor in the middle of zarlek caverns who you'll meet along the story and then there's also this option here to talk to this guy later on down the road if we need to convert some of the crest currency then we can come back and mess around with those finer details to get the exact gear we need but just know for now that you can convert crests and break them down so here we are questing along pretty much everything that we're doing down here gives us the rewards that we want and we can get better gear along the way make sure you're opening up all the chests that you see if you can some of them do require a key most importantly make sure you are killing all the rares as they spawn the rares will give you the crests that you want to get and sometimes when you kill rares you can get brand new gear from them as well in order Order to do this even more efficiently you can download the add-on silver dragon this add-on has helped me a lot you might want to turn off the sound alerts for the chests though simply because there's so many chests which is a good thing just keep farming and doing all the quests in this area grab your coffee because we're gonna be camping out here for a bit farm the crap out of those rares as you go and once you get the currencies that you need you can go ahead and start upgrading the gear that you get there is an NPC outside of this main little town area in Zarlet Caverns that can give you a box of currency in exchange for another type of... <laughs> 
another type of currency that you can farm in czar like caverns these you can do once a week so you probably want to get these so here's an example of that and here we go so now we have those coins which we can go back to that npc in exchange for those crests i would definitely suggest at least progressing to the story to the point where you unlock world quests in zarlet caverns as soon as possible so you can get even more rewards as you're living down there anyways don't forget that you can supplement pieces that you're missing with pvp gear here in valdraken with these vendors all of them are inside this room either way it's going to be a fast process but this is an option last tip don't worry too much much about spending your currencies on the wrong items quote unquote you can keep farming for these currencies so at the very worst case you can always upgrade other pieces of gear later now that you know these absolute basics you can progress through whatever pve content you'd like to do and continue to upgrade your gear in the exact same way as you did when you were starting out and reach over level 9000 baby it's over 9000 <laughs>